this is Captain Jack. And we are Sailing Lily. Hey guys, Captain Jack here. I am in Lily's Beaverth doing a little more work. Um, so today is Saturday. We decided to sleep in and get up and I was craving a big tall glass of milk and lots of coffee. So we went to go eat breakfast at LA Pines here in Slidell. Check them out. They're famous. They're on diners. What is it? Diners, dive-ins and... Diner, dives and drive-ins? Diners, dives, and drives in with Guy Fieri, right? Hi. Yeah, so <laughs> check them. Obviously, we don't watch a lot of TV. Uh, check them out. They're really good. We had corned beef hash, um, eggs over hard, and all you could eat. I mean, it's amazing that I'm doing work right now. All right, so like I said, I'm in the V-Birth, and what I am doing is actually tiling the side of our V-Birth wall. So if you see behind me, we have this plain kind of egg white just a yucky looking wall that doesn't really match the rest of our fresh paint so I'm going to be going through and tiling this with a nice gray tile so I wanted to let you guys know a little bit about what I was using and what I was going to be doing so the tile that we decided to use is from Home Depot and then if you look behind me it's this tile right here style selections luxury vinyl tile and the color that we decided to use the Symphony Gray. It comes in an 18 piece, about 36 square feet. Fairly inexpensive for something cosmetic, but it's gonna make our beaver look really nice. And hey, why not? So this is the actual piece of tile. Like I said, it's a nice pretty gray color. It matches the colors that we have on the boat or that we wanna have on the boat. And each tile is about 12 inches long. So what I am doing is since the V-Birth walls kind of go at a slant, I'm measuring each portion of tile as I go in 12 inch sections to ensure that we have straight lines all the way down the V-Birth. All I really need to do to measure that is have a ruler, pen or a pencil, and we couldn't find the tape measure so I'm using this as a smaller ruler and I'm just marking as I go. Another really cool tool that we have that cuts vinyl very well is this Erwin box cutter. And the reason that we're using vial, uh, vinyl and not ceramic tile is because the boat tends to breathe and this is not exactly a, a section that's always straight and flush due to humidity, temperature, and movement. So we want something that's going to be a little more flexible. Alright guys, so today we are going to match the port side of the beaver. I've gotten one side completed. You guys have not seen the finished product yet. And right now you're going to see the step-by-step -step of me working on the starboard side. And then we'll get to see the finished product of both. So this is the before. Let's get to it. So what we do know is that we're starting at 12 and a quarter on height. Each tile is 12 inches long. So 
by 12 inches in width. And we're going to be coming here. So that tile is going to stop at this point here. So we know that this is our stopping point for the tile. So what we're going to do, of course, is measure as we're on a slant how far this is going to go down. And we are going to be at, I love this tape measure because it locks where it needed to. Exactly to 12 and 3 quarters. So 12 by 12 and 1 quarter by 12 and 3 quarters. Right. And we want to make sure we cut these exactly right because we have exactly 16 left, or I'm sorry, 8 left, and that's how many we need for each side. So no pressure. Alright, so I have my straight edge here. And I want to be very careful, of course, because we were dealing with very, very slight angles um, as we start. And it's very important to make sure that we are judging these angles correctly because we do not have a lot of extra tile to play with anymore. And this is what it looks like so far. So I basically use this as my starting point, the very bottom here so that it goes in a straight line all the way down the boat and I'm cutting each piece of tile to go up to the very top which is about three inches above where the visible line is just to ensure that we have good coverage and if you can see there's a small little crease in there and doing it this way ensures that we have a uniform crease all the way down so every 12 inches there's going to be a vertical crease and that's it and that is what we're doing, and I'll show you guys the finished product.
King Lee and I would like to thank you for joining us in the redesign of our rebirth. We would like you to know that the Cliffs of Moher in Ireland was the inspiration behind our rebirth design. We both identify strongly with the Irish culture and the Cliffs of Moher just brings us peace. It is a dream destination for us in the coming years as we start traveling and potentially cross the Atlantic. The nice gray washed stones and earthy textures are things that we like to wake up to and relax and go to sleep to every night as we continue working to make that dream an accomplishment. I would also like to show you guys the 3D imaging that I use to design the V-Birth. As a complete noob to designing and never having worked with computer graphics before, this helped me to visualize the colors and textures that I wanted in the V-Birth. And I also used scenes and imagery from daydreaming to decide what details I wanted to put into the V-Birth as well. Although my results were not exact, this is exactly what I like in my V-Birth. It is a relaxing and sound environment. And we are just very thankful that we were able to make this happen. Hey guys, I don't know if you, <laughs> hey guys, I don't know if you can tell I'm sitting a little lower to the water today. Hey everybody, I don't know if you noticed but I'm sitting a little lower to the water today and our boat is way up here. <laughs> there is a reason for that. All right, you ready? All right, ready for it. <laughs> it's so different. <laughs> we are sitting in our dinghy that King Lee just got inflated and we got put in the water for the first time ever. <laughs> now we are going to row to the slip. <laughs> Around just next to ours. Yeah, to the slip that the dinghy belongs in. Uh, I'm going to film, he's going to row, so this is going to be fun. But yeah, here we are. We're still motorless, but we're in the water. Woohoo! All right. Oh, you're really close to me. <laughs> the dinghy's maiden voyage. Don't be sad, Luli. We're coming Your back. Turn is coming. Let's see if I remember how to row. <laughs> we end up lost in Bayou Liberty. It is not my fault if we end up lost. <laughs> I'm just the cameraman. Oh, shit. Not a recliner. <laughs> row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. This reminds me of Dante's Peak when they're in the canoe trying to get away from the volcano. And the boat is slowly burning beneath them, and they got the kids singing, row, row, row your boat, except we are not in a lake full of lava. <laughs> Things you want to think about your first time in a dinghy rowing. She definitely floats, and she's got a really good motion to her. There's our boat. How do you like it, babe? You do this all day. All right, let's go to the blind tiger. We will be closed by the time we get there. <laughs> True. Hopefully I'm getting you still. Doing good. 
So we're just going to the slip next to our neighbor. A nice little place for no name to sit until we get a motor and a registration. Hey, Mike. <laughs> Sorry, Mike. <laughs> you got up here behind you, but let me know if you need help. This is a really cool looking shot, by the way. Nicely done, sweetheart. Don't forget the duck. Who's coming? Duck, duck, goose. I know, right? Yay, home sweet home. And that is how you row a dinghy. That is how you watch someone row a dinghy. <laughs> See you all next time. Peace. We got Ed, Jen, and baby Abby in her big girl sundress. So Abby is a year and a half, and she is our cousin, and this is her first time sleeveless. sleeveless first time in a dress, first time on a boat. <laughs> You guys ready? This is Luli. Say hi, Luli. That's a secret, by the way. We won't I'm really bad at keeping that. We really need to get that video out. Yeah, we do. Uh, I need to get past you, babe. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to spoil that. <laughs> well, you guys know <laughs> the secret name. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay, Abby. It's okay, babies. Okay, Mama's oh, here. Oh, no. Mama's here. Wait. There we go, Abby. Hi, Abby. What do you think, Abby? Is it fun? Should we get a boat? Do you want to go get a boat and go fishing? So, yeah. Uh, Jen, just say your shot. Uh, <laughs> you want a boat? Gonna be yeah. Fun. This corner is. I will let him sit in it. I'm perfectly fine. Let's right see. Now. I bet I can get her to say that. Like the Abby. Wind. The air is going this way. Abby. So, and that corner catches it like I'm good. I know she hates these sunglasses. Super cool. She's okay. Yeah. We've got removable pants on. So oh, we do. So if we get too hot, we'll just. <laughs> it's okay for you to take your pants yeah. off. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm.